Hello and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. This is Tech Guy from Live and, and welcome, welcome to Floss Tube. Tube. We're so excited to be back with you again today for I think what's going to be a very short episode. We say that every time. Do we? No. Oh. Well. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think we only have like each one of us a whip to show. I don't know why I have socks to show. I do. Um, you have socks? No, you have socks. Oh, you know why I have socks? Yes. Okay, well. They're just knit socks I got at Target. It's not even... That will be the screen grab for this week. No, that will end up being the screen grab for this week. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this is our third week of Common Thread Stitcher? This is our third week of Common Thread Stitcher. I think we're having a fantastic time. We are... Um, this is actually the last day of Pam and Steph's takeover. Yes. Which has been fantastic. Steph has done a phenomenal job of reposting stories. And... Um, like they did this little recipe episode on what's your favorite day of, no, what's what your is favorite? your favorite recipe day? And I thought that went really great and uh -huh. super fun. I think it's the most engagement we've had so far. So um, Steph, if you have not seen it, Steph made a highlight reel on our Common Threaded Stitcher Instagram page that says the CTS cookbook. And so you can go and find like a ton of great recipes and um, I don't know, I'm thinking of kind of doing something really fun with that. So we'll see what comes of that. But it's been fantastic. Tons of engagement, tons of participation and all that stuff. It took a weird turn this week. Yeah, but um, I, think it was, I think it's been fine. Yeah, so we had um, a post day that said- Most desired charts. Your most desired chart, or as some people call them, unicorn Unicorns. charts. And um, unfortunately we had some sharing of photocopy charts and PDF charts. And so we as a team um, kind of jumped into action and addressed that issue the next day when we found out about it. And so um, the response from that has been fantastic. Uh, just if, if you haven't been a part of it, um, there's no drama or anything like that. No. It's just that we as a team, we, um, and we as stitchers mainly, we highly value um, designers and makers and creators and everything. And in order to really like respect their hard work and effort, we asked this week that any sharing of illegal charts would stop. Um, and what that means is photocopied charts. Um, some people I think got scared and thought that the pictures that they were showing were illegally obtained. That's not what we were discussing. We were discussing um, photocopied charts, PDF charts being emailed back and forth, um, and charts that have been obviously copied that are out of print. So uh, we kind of took a stance on that and that went over really well and not a harsh stance, no. just like, hey. FYI. FYI, let's really respect the designers and makers who have put a lot of time past and present um, designers that have put a lot of time into their work. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it went totally fine. Fantastic. Yeah. If that's the worst thing we have to go to do, we're in great shape. Very true. <laughs> Very true. So um, the next thing I want to talk about is something really exciting. Okay. And unfortunately, I don't have a picture of the full chart with me right now because I have not um, gotten it just yet. But our dear friend, Liz Matthews, who designs for Hello by Liz Matthews. <laughs> Hello. Has come out with a beautiful pattern called After the Rain. She had this absolutely fantastic idea to um, do a collab with some stitchers, designers, floss tubers that she is friends with and she knows through the industry. And she created this beautiful pattern and asked a multitude of people to come up with their own color conversion. And so I came up with mine and started stitching it. So here is mine. Um, I have four rainbows completely done, although you can barely see the inside of this one from the camera. I have four completely done. I start on this one and start on this one over here. And um, my color palette, um, Liz has listed in her newsletter. So it's a beautiful color palette. I absolutely love it. All of it is in plastic bags, but here's kind of a rainbow. Like a bag toss. Like a peacock. Like a bag toss. So um, head over to Liz's um, newsletter. newsletter. If you are not signed up for that, she gives you uh, on her latest 
oh my goodness, on her latest floss tube with her mama where they did their new um, releases. I cannot get my words right. Where they did their new releases, she um, gives you information on how to sign up for a newsletter and she has included all of my colors in that newsletter. So what I did, I wanted to do something very special uh, as Common Threaded Stitcher is um, very close to my heart and on my mind right now. So the middle of all of my rainbows are the same color. And what I did there is, and I wish this lighting were better. I was gonna give it true form, right? Yes, I wish it would show up. So this is on 48 count, um, a linen that I had bought from Twin Peak Primitives Exclusives. And um, so every middle rainbow is the same yellow color, which is 728. And then all the outsides are just randomly chosen. And so what this, as soon as she told me about this, um, I don't know, maybe like a month and a half ago, as soon as she first approached me on that, I was, I was in all of the wrapping up of planning and everything because I months go into planning CTS. And I was, I was wrapping up all the planning from that and really starting to implement, um, team meetings and things like that. And, um, uh, just ideas. And when she said that, she said, I just want to know like what this means to you. And I looked at it and I thought there are three arches in each rainbow. And wouldn't it just be amazing if this were just a representation of common threaded stitcher. So every rainbow center is the same because we all have this love of cross stitch. And so that's what the middle arc represents. And then the outer arcs are different hobbies and interests that we have outside of cross stitch. And so that's why they're all different colors all the way around is because we all share that same commonality and then outside of it. So I'm going to continue to work on this. You will continue to see this on our channel, but I'm really excited to be included in that. And I just think it's phenomenal. <laughs> so I didn't show you that when we talked about our 24 hours last week, uh, but that is what I worked on for a good six, six or eight hours of our 24 hours. So I was really glad to have that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So if you have not seen it yet, Kathy and Liz both have some phenomenal um, designs coming out for Expo, as do a lot of other designers. So I would encourage you to visit the Needlework Expo page, visit your designers Instagram pages and see what they all have coming out and then order from your local Needlework store. If you don't have one, we always list one in our description box and um, you can use that one or find an online needlework store um, that is a small business. We would encourage you to support small business and um, order from them as well. Yep, and a lot of designers or some of the designers have newsletters and, and web pages and websites and uh, we encourage you to go and support uh, them. Support them um, look at the website, look at their blogs, newsletters, things like that, because I know it's, there's a lot of effort um, in those avenues Mm -hmm. uh, to reach to all their stitchers. So. Yeah. And that's definitely a way that, um, if you know, you don't have the monetary means, financial means right now to be able to purchase new charts from them. That's a very tangible free way that you can support your designers and creators is by subscribing to their newsletters, visiting their pages, commenting on their post, sharing their post, things like that. Those are all free ways that you can support and, um, help come alongside, uh, designers. And most, and most designers do have um, free patterns that you can print off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we showed one last week. Yes. Awesome. All right. Where are we going next? Do you want to talk about your whip? Sure. Guess what I got done? Exactly what I wanted to have done. <laughs> Setting tangible, <laughs> goals. realistic goals. I got fresh. The comments about you getting fresh last week were funny. I got fresh and this is start of egg. This <laughs> egg. got fresh egg. <laughs> um, love uh, that it's uh, just amazing mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get eggs done it's actually pretty bigger it's bigger than fresh the word fresh I'm gonna get that done this week and possibly start well, look at you just jumping around to plan I know crazy oh sorry no go for it uh, want to go ahead and get eggs done and start on a rooster so so, okay, I won't say what I was going to say. Last week you got fresh, this week you're going to get something else. I'm getting the rooster done. <laughs> That's what that is. You're going to get a rooster done? Uh, maybe a wang. Okay. Maybe, maybe a little rooster wang. So, 
anyway, that's where we're at. Um, so, I thought roosters have, Never mind. <laughs> I can't wait for people to jump on the comments and correct <laughs> me. So I am actually looking forward to that. Um, so I'll be working on that for next next week. I know I've started with, with plans next, but um, it's just great. I would like yeah. to get this done. This is a project that I'm going to give someone um, or to myself, but I want to get done like sooner than later. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on. That's the only project I'm working on. Uh, I put down squirrels for a little bit. Um, that, not like I didn't like it. I just need to get this done. This is a Christmas gift, correct? It is a Christmas gift. Yeah. So it needs to get done like ASAP and I don't want it to be on like the week before Christmas and I'm scrambling around and trying to finish it. I understand that. So I anywho, that. what do you have? Um, I am just not realizing too. Is that real? What's real? Yeah, it's, Never mind. it's printed okay. on there. Um, <laughs> yikes. Okay, you all, I'm going to get it together. I, mm, we had a homeschool <laughs> meeting at 7 a.m. this morning, and I am done. That, that puts us day. at being awake, and I say us loosely, uh, Kia awake at like 5 o'clock in the morning. I got up at, it was like 5.45. 5.45. I got up at 6. Okay, so I've been working on Coming to America. That was what my plan was last week, was to work on Coming <laughs> to America. I also noticed some people on Instagram, um, like Finally a Farm Girl, she, Chrissy, she was working on Coming to America last weekend. She was somewhere in the names, and that was her goal, was to finish the... Um, I actually don't know where she finished. I'll have to look that up. But um, that is what I've been working on. And my goal was to finish the banner and start the border. Yeah. And unfortunately, I did not get there. Did we switch roles? I know. Well, you know, did I have the word Plymouth done last week? I think I did. You did. And the fish. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't think the fish. So is done. I am about halfway done with this um, banner okay. situation, and then I will start on the border. Someone say so. you're halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer. Uh, so we're gonna jump into plans. So, and this lives in a. I'm trying to get better about this and saying my project bags because I love them so much. This lives in a so much to love project bag by Karen. And I just love it. I think it's beautiful. I think it's the same color scheme as what Coming to America is. And I think that's why I chose it for this It one. feels very homey. I don't know why that's giving me that vibe of just like a home feel of that vibe. Yeah. The bag, but it's just a very like, it should live in there. Yeah. So. so it gets done. So my plan for that is to continue working on the banner and then start on the border. Um, and then I want to pull out one. I was just looking at our whiteboard. I was, I want to pull out one of my other projects and start on one of those or make progress on one of those. So hopefully you'll see two whips for me next week and we'll have a little bit longer of a video. It's all good. It is fine. It is fine. I want to say hello. Yes, so I got some haul uh, two weeks ago that I totally forgot to share. And when I pulled out our filming basket, I was like, oh yeah, I didn't even share this. So I placed an order with Shakespeare's Peddler. And um, I was really excited. Which, that's not the so first time we've actually, done that, right? Did... Nope, I've ordered fabric from her Okay, before. I would say we've, yeah. we've shopped with her before. Yes, so what I got was, I love this so much. And it is called Crowning the Tree by Blackbird Designs. Sorry, our light is, there we go. So I just think it's so cute. You're about to hear someone come in. No, not not right now. Maybe later. <laughs> that was very cute. That was super cute. And we hope you enjoyed our little guys, tiny little boys. Um, and then the next one is Blackbird Designs. This is Pleasure of the Fleeting Year. And this is Loose Feathers for the Birds number six. I just thought that was really cute. You guys know how much I love houses. So I'm really trying to get that light to go away. There mm -hmm. we go. There we go. I just think it's so pretty. So I really, really liked it because I, you know, that variable, I think is just gorgeous. Houses. The whole reason that I placed an order, um, and why I wanted to place an order was Brenda Key's book, Ultimate Sampler Motifs Source Book. So I saw this on Country Stitcher's Floss Tube several, I don't know, maybe a month or two months ago. Um, you know what, it was probably like May or I don't know, sometime earlier this summer. And I just thought this was fantastic. So obviously I can't open it and show you what's in it, 
but it is packed full of amazing like motifs and charts and like things that you can add to your samplers and I mean I just think it's amazing and there is some backstitching included there's pages of just backstitching but there's pages of animals and borders and houses and people and I just think it's so so exciting because sometimes I want to take something out of a chart that I'm like eh, I'm not in love with that piece we've had several discussions on that yes yeah and so um so I'm really glad to have that as a reference now. So that was my That's ours, fun. right? Yes. Good. As long as you can take care of it nicely. Yes. Um, and you always say, not you exclusively, but other stitchers have said there's no chart traveling alone. And of course, when you no go No chart one, travels alone. So yep. I ended up getting three. Because you know, this isn't a chart, this is a book. And so I couldn't just get one chart because no chart travels alone. So I had to get two charts and the book, so whatever that's how that whatever happened. rationality you want to use <laughs> i foresee myself getting a lot of use out of this source book so i'm I really think, excited about it i think it's i think it's wonderful so, so. and i'm going to ask a really dumb question what mm -hmm. other source books are out there you know i don't know so there is i didn't realize that was a thing until yeah. just now when you showed it yeah so basically all of these things that are in on the cover are inside the book somewhere and so much there's a there's a page of all ships. Yes. Which is really sinking cool. There's a page of all variables. There's, um, I mean, there's just so much. There's pages, it's and, pages inspiring. and pages of um, alphabets. So. Yeah, it's, it's very inspiring. Just like, because. I feel like I could just look at yep. this book. I could just sit down and just flip through this book and find something new every time. That's awesome. So, that was, was a good find. Yeah. Thank you all enablers. Appreciate exactly. it. Exactly. So what do we have? So um, let's do a giveaway. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. So I would love to I give say away. that. I think we want to make sure that we get caught up with our giveaways first and then start another Yes. Week. Okay. I'm so sorry. So we owe still a giveaway to a lovely lady, Granny of 17. Very patient. Yes. Who has been extremely patient. I thought I sent it out. I don't have a tracking anywhere for it. I can't find it. And so I'm going to send out another chart because... Yeah. I'm so sorry that has happened. But thank you for letting us know. Because yes. And she won. has been so patient and lovely. So I appreciate that so very much. So what I would like to do is to give a PDF away. Now, when you get this PDF is in question only because of two things. One, um, it's going to be Liz after the rain. I want to give you uh, a PDF of that. But sometimes she doesn't release PDFs for a certain amount of time after Expo. So when that PDF, it may be a month, it may be three months, I'm not 100% sure. But when that PDF is made available, we want to give it away. So I would love for you to comment in the comments below, what would be your rainbow motif? Yeah, what? like color scheme? Yeah, like yep. what would be your color conversion for that? What do, what do rainbows mean to you? What does that whole, like what does that symbolize for you? And so um, I would love to hear that. Yeah, great to continue the conversation around that. Yeah, exactly. So comment really down nice. below and we will give that away mm -hmm. um, to one person and we'll announce that next week. And um, check out Liz's uh, newsletter because she also gives all the other people that she collabed with for After the Rain. And guys, there is some beautiful color conversions where I was almost like, I want the top row of my rainbows like one from this color conversion, one from, you know, this color conversion. And so I may do that. I may have to think about doing that. So nice. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on the hive this week and we will see you all next week.